Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video from Bird1. Today we're gonna do the second video of the complete mining rig build. So today we're gonna do... We're gonna go and get you the parts you need for your mining rig. To get started, we can choose between two things. A cheap mining rig or a more expensive mining rig. First of all, I need you to know that it's never too late to start mining and it's really fun to get into the blockchain. So if you've seen the video from yesterday, I just had to make it, but I promise you it's really fun to get started and I really would do it if I was you. And first of all, we need to do a few things. So before we start building our mining rig, we need the components. So first of all, we need to go and choose our GPUs because based on the GPUs, we can see how expensive we are going at the end because the GPUs are the most expensive part of the whole mining rig. So if you want to go cheap, I would recommend buying the RX 470s. If you go for the RX 470s, we have four specific brands we can use that are useful for mining. So the first one is Sapphire, the second one is Asus, the third one is MSI, and last but not least, we have the XFX cards. So we also have two different versions of the RX 470s, the 4 and 8 gigabyte version. If you want to sell the cards later on, the 8 gigabyte version will be easier to sell, of course, and they only cost a few bucks more, and they will do slightly more hash rate than the usual 4 gigabyte cards. If you want to go more expensive, I would recommend buying the RX 480s. On these cards, I would recommend buying the 8GB cards because most gamers just go straight for the 8GB because the price difference between the 4 and 8GB version is so small that you should go for the 8GB version. Also for this card, we have the Sapphire, Asus, MSI and XFX card brands. Also one small tip, if you've seen the video from yesterday, I told you about the Micron memory. Some of these cards will come with Hynix, LP, Samsung or Micron memory. And if you have Micron memory, these cards are not suited for mining, at least for now. So now that we picked our GPUs, let's say I will pick the Sapphire Radeon Nitro RX 470 4GB. I will take six of them and we can continue to the next step. Because now I chose a cheap mining rig and if you want to go expensive you could go for the RX 488 8GB version for example and continue on this. Everything I will say in the video about GPUs, P uh, power supplies, motherboards, they will all be on the website where you can buy them through Amazon so you can help out the channel a little bit on the way. So when we continue on we can see that step 2 is going to be the risers for the GPUs. We of course need the risers because risers are the extensions from your motherboard. So these are a must and you can buy them in a six pack or you can buy them singly uh, piece by piece. If you want to extend it later on like you just buy one GPU and two GPUs you can just order them one by one if you want. Of course we do need a SSD or a hard drive to put our windows on to get started with the miner. So it's not really that we need one terabyte of SSD power, we only need 120 gigabytes and that will be plenty enough. Because I think Windows only uses 30 gigabytes at most and the miner is like one megabyte only. So you could go with a HDD but I would not recommend that because your computer will be very slow and if you go for the SSD it's almost the same price, it's 50 bucks as well. You will have a very fast system and you could later on use it for somewhere else or revive an old computer. So for step number four we need to pick our power supply. It's not really that easy to select these ones because we have many factors but if you have heard of it there is a lot of things going around with efficiency. So if you want to go very efficient you should go for the platinum version or even titanium but those are very expensive. If you want to go pretty expensive and very efficient you should go for a 1200 watt power supply. You could go for gold or platinum it's almost the same. And if you want to go pretty cheap you could you should go for a 1000 watt power supply with gold of platinum version 2. Next up we will need a motherboard that supports 6 GPUs and to make it easy I will be using the H81 Pro. So I think all over the world people know this motherboard and may be able to get it. But these motherboards are discontinued, maybe, I'm not sure about it actually now. But 
this one is gonna be for simple video making because I cannot really cover six GPU mining rig builds with different motherboards while I can just use this one that's fairly common and I think that's the best option too. Next up on step six we will need a CPU. Of course the CPU will fit only into this motherboard that I know of and that's the LGA1150 slot. So I picked these two to make it easy for the video as well. These are pretty cheap, they are 50 bucks each and you, you could have two options again. So the cheap version is the G1840 and if you want to go slightly more expensive but a little bit quicker you should go with the G3250 from Intel. So the first one is a Celeron and the second one is a Pentium. The Pentium is of course a little bit more expensive but you will get a little bit more performance out of it. So number seven we will need DDR3 memory 1600 megahertz. We have two options over here they're almost exactly the same but it's mostly for people that want to buy really cheap memory you should go for the Patriot signature and if you want to go a little bit more expensive I would go for the HyperX Fury. This one comes in with two 4 gigabyte sticks so you have two RAM sticks for two different miners. Finally you will need a power button to turn it on of course and it's pretty cheap it's like 50 cents and it's an ADX case power switch so it's pretty easy to two pins and put it into the motherboard and you'll be able to turn it on and off. But I'll give you a small tip I should order it with 10 things at the same time because they're pretty cheap and the sending cost will like kill you if you don't buy enough of it because if you only buy one it's gonna be very expensive to buy only one power case button. But the final step is number nine and that's one I can really do because you will need a frame to put everything together on and I just picked these two because they are sold on Amazon so you can buy them from there. So the first one is just a mining open airframe where everything is situated on. You can put every component in there. And the second one already has the risers inside it and a backplate to put everything on. So you could build your own if you want with wood or plastic or PVC piping or even aluminum like I do. Okay, so I want to make it simple for you guys and I will put two easy setups in the description of the video. So I will make a cheap version and an expensive version so if you really don't know what to pick I will pick these two for you guys so it's gonna be fairly easy if you want to have a custom uh, thing or you want some help with something just put it in the comments below and I'll try to help you out as fast as I can and all of my subscribers are also helping a lot of people along the way hopefully you all know what I just said and hopefully you will get the parts you will need for the next video and we will build the mining rig together. So hope you all enjoyed the video and see you guys in the next one.